if attraction is important to you. And listen, I believe attraction is important to everyone, at least to a certain extent, some more than others. So let's flip it back to the men. When a woman understands that I should at least consider how my man feels about the way I present myself, that makes you more attractive because again, so many are dismissive of that when it comes to men. So many are dismissive of the fact that the man wants to be visually stimulated even after he's in a relationship with you. There are women who think, or not just think, there are women who will work hard to look good and keep themselves up a certain way to get a man and then drop the whole routine <laughs> once the man is there, okay? And to them it's, well, if you love me for me, this shouldn't be a problem. And whether he says it or not, for a lot of men, not all, but for a lot of men, that creates resentment. That creates a lot of saltiness, all right? Because again, physical attraction is a huge ingredient to romantic relationship. And as I stated from the beginning, men are visual creatures. A woman who embraces and accepts that is more attracted to a man because he feels a greater safety in knowing she's gonna be willing to pour into me in that way. She's not going to, to just let that fall to the wayside and act like it shouldn't be important. And this is one of the fears that men have. If there's two fears, and, and it's more than two, but two fears that men have about after you get married to a woman is her letting herself go and the sex going away, all right? Because those are two things they have seen commonly happen in so many relationships. And this, this creates a hesitancy. I didn't say the word clearly, but you know what I'm saying. This, this causes men to be hesitant in being willing to marry a woman. Contributes to it. Contributes. Because there's other factors. But it definitely contributes. He wants to have some level of security in knowing I'll still, you're going to still work to make sure I'm attracted to you. When I say work, put in the effort. All right. And again, it doesn't mean it's only on the woman that the man shouldn't do, do it as well. Of course, I believe in both sides doing it. But in talking about what the woman has to understand and embrace, yes, that's extremely, extremely important. So again, I hope I ain't pissed some of y'all off with the hair, <laughs> but I, I needed to break that down because I see it happen so much. And again, remember, it's bigger than just the hair. And let me say this, at the end of the day, am I saying if a woman feels passionately about, let's say, cutting her hair and her husband doesn't want her to do it, right? I'm not saying that you just flat out, it's a tough situation to be honest with you. And I think that depending on the situation, the various reasons, the woman, you know, the man has to learn how to be encouraging and supporting in certain ways. If this woman feels like I need to do this for me, yes, of course, but at least y'all had to talk about it. At least he was being, he was able to become mentally prepared. Now, again, some men don't care. Some men don't care if you're bald, long hair, wig, weave. As long as you're happy, they're good. That's not a focal point for them. But there are many men who do. And you should at least be willing to consider his feelings in that matter. And in all matters that apply to him being attracted to you and maintaining that attraction. All right, so we got a few more to go. But before I do, again, people are always asking me about coaching you know, getting their questions answered, wanting more guidance. And I have my special coaching program for you to take advantage of and join today where you're going to learn how to heal, tap into your feminine energy, hearing God more clearly, meeting more relationship minded quality men. All right. And so much more. This program isn't just about meeting a guy. It's about you increasing your overall quality of life so that you can be happier regardless of your relationship status. And so with that, join the program today. Go to receivingmyblessings.com or click the link in the description or in the comment section. All right, so now next on this list of things for a woman to know that make you more attractive to a man is the way to a man's heart is through his stomach. <laughs> now, listen. This, this is not going to apply to everybody. Everybody don't care about food like that. But I do think that plenty of men, if, if there's one of the things that men 
you hear, I don't want to use the word complain, but talk about that has changed from what women used to do more is being able to cook. Now, notice I said being able to cook rather than saying being willing to cook. Of course, being willing to cook is part of it, but being able to because a lot of people stop learning how to cook. Now, listen, it, it, this is not to say that a man should not learn how to cook as well, all right? Because, I mean, he's got to be able to take care of himself. God forbid you're not able to, then, he, you know, he should be able to survive and, 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 you know, get in the kitchen a little bit. However, it does make a woman much more attractive when not only is she willing, but she's able. She's good at it and she loves it. Let me tell you, one of the things I tell, I've told some women in my group to do, I said, listen, um, you know, women, there's a lot of women out there who will post provocative pics on the internet. And I ain't judging that right now. I'm just mentioning it, right? And I say, well, listen, how about posting some, some dishes you made <laughs> that look real nice? Let me tell you, you start posting food you cooked. That, and again, it got to look good. Don't post no, no, no nonsense. But it looks good on your feed, Instagram, Facebook, whatever. And watch how you start gaining some more attention. It works. It works, all right? It is definitely a quality that men still love to see in a woman. Now, again, are there some men who prefer cooking themselves? Yes, I have a homeboy who loves cooking. He doesn't mind doing all the cooking. I would argue, though, those are exceptions to the rule. The vast majority of men would love a woman who, again, is willing and able and loves to cook and I don't want to use the word I'm, who, 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 again, doesn't mind serving the man. <laughs> I said, listen, I was so hesitant to say the word serving because I know how, how triggered some people are going to be by that word. All right. But I couldn't figure out other words to use in the moment. But I'm not saying serving like being his slave. All right. And I think this is part of the thing. This goes back to the whole a woman who understands being nurturing, supporting and loving doesn't make you weak. There's nothing wrong with serving. Hey, thank you for watching this video. Be sure to check this one out right here and I'll see you there. Relationships are the key to a successful life, but there's five areas that we have to be mindful of when it comes to relationships. There's relationship with God, relationship with ourselves, relationship with family and friends,